this is the Lim Reaper and uh, I just wanted to show a short video on uh, my magnetic mount for my GoPro or any other camera that you'd happen to feel uh, secure enough mounting this to. I think it'll go with a pretty heavy camera. Uh, it seems to be a 30 pound magnet. Uh, what it is, you see it's pretty strong there. Uh, it was a magnet off a flashlight from Mac Tools and it actually had an articulating arm on it that a flashlight mounted to and it uh, mounted to automobiles or any other thing you need a mechanic would need to work on. Uh, there's a tether attached to my GoPro if I want to mount it to a vehicle traveling down the road. Uh, this mount, I just made one variation in it. I drilled a larger hole in the bottom and mounted a quarter twenty screw or bolt through it. Put a uh, nylock locking nut on the bottom or to hold the bolt and I actually used a carriage bolt recessed in there nicely. I put some uh, clear packing tape on the bottom to cover up the magnets again. Uh, the uh, aluminum foil that was on there was kind of chewed up. This blue tape is not serving any purpose really anymore. Uh, Plus I, I have a little trick I use. I take any kind of matting that I can and I punch a hole in it and I use that. It's kind of a uh, vibration dampener or something to hold my item securely. That way I don't have to use a lock washer or anything or really get it super, super tight. The uh, rubber seems to hold on pretty well. Uh, of course this is your standard GoPro mounts here articulating. Uh, for variable adjustments side to side, left, right, up, down, and as I was saying about this tether, uh, one one point I made to a uh, fellow that has a website, Getaway Moments, I said when you mount your uh, GoPro on a vehicle, you should always mount your tether ahead. That way, instead of uh, coming off your hood or whatever you have it attached to, if you put this end on the grill or down on your bumper, your uh, item's not going to want to fly back into the windshield. If you mount this to your windshield wipers or your mirror on the side of the vehicle and it's behind the camera, if this were to release for some reason, your camera's going to fly back and hit the windshield. That's my whole point of that. You really don't want that to happen. Uh, as you can see, that's very secure. Like I said, this is probably a 30 pound magnet. I know I've had uh, 10 pound weights hanging on it just to test it, but there's no problem mounting it anywhere. Another little trick I wanted to show you, and I apologize, but I can't give the guy credit because I don't remember his name. I'd have to look that up and maybe put it down in the description. But uh, this little item here is an adapter for your quick connects on your GoPro. But this is a piece of cutting board, uh, the plastic HDP cutting board, high density polyethylene, with uh, a SEMA quick connect shoe on it. Uh, I just tap that out to quarter 20 and I put the quick connect adhesive on top. And uh, the other fella, he uses a piece of aluminum, which I have aluminum too that I could work with, but I happen to have the cutting board and I want to try that out. Uh, you need to drill and tap to do that if you wish to do it that way. And it snaps together nicely. And this makes a great tripod adapter for your GoPro. If you don't drop it on the ground. But uh, these SEMA quick connects. And there I have for right on top of a tripod a quick adapter plate. Uh, another little item I'm really partial to. Let me unscrew this are these little Geodos ball heads. Uh, this is the MH1004 ball head. Uh, they're not fantastic quality, but they are, they're nice for what you got for lightweight items. Uh, I do use it with my NAX VG20, or my next VG20, uh, the Sony camera. They seem to be strong enough for that, but I wouldn't uh, put them through high stress. But that also works on the magnetic mount if I want to go with another brand camera on there with a quarter 20 thread. Uh, these also have in them a 3 8 adapter. If I want to unscrew that, put it on a 3 8 top tripod. 
and it seems to work very nicely. So there you go. And I could also mount the GoPro. Right now on my GoPro, I'm partial to their um, tripod adapters they have, the quarter 20 base. They seem to work very nicely. I've never had a problem with them. Uh, I believe I bought two of those from GoPro. Well, I know I did, but uh, they, they work very nicely. You might notice uh, this is a little trick I picked up from Eye of Mine, the longer thumb screws for the GoPro. He said, why don't you take some white and mark them? That way uh, they're easy to identify with the white paint, the longer ones. Right now I have, for my uh, GoPro backpack, I have the extra articulation articulating piece in here, uh, which works pretty nice for the backpack. Uh, that way you have space in the back. Uh, it's really a non-issue here with this mount at the moment. But uh, that's about it. That's all I can say on this. Uh, the 30 pound magnet, uh, I suppose uh, uh, an antenna magnet for a citizen band radio would work also. I know some places sell magnets for picking nails up and screws up off the floor. Uh, what their weight rating is, I really don't know. But this seems to work very, very nicely. Well, that's all I had to say. Thank you.